tonight, an Orange County teacher running for state office denies an allegation that she's trying to secure a cozy job with the district by offering special treatment if she's elected. I was not asking for any kind of lobbying deal or sweetheart deal. But next, we have the email she's accused of sending, and we're checking what kind of trouble she could be in if she's found guilty. An Orange County public school teacher running for state representative is being accused of trying to use her future elected office to solicit a new job. Karen Castor Dental is running for the newly formed District 30, which represents Maitland and Winter Park. Since she would not be able to teach while serving in Tallahassee, she wrote the superintendent to discuss other job opportunities. Gentlemen's Lori Brown is live at Domerick Elementary School in Maitland. And Lori, what kind of trouble does she face if the Elections Commission agrees that she's trying to do this? Marty, if the Ethics Commission finds she tried to use her potential elected position to get a job, she could be removed from that office if elected or face as much of as, as a $10,000 fine. Another complaint accuses her of campaigning while still on the job here at Domark Elementary School. As a mother and as a teacher. In this campaign ad, House of Representatives candidate Karen Castor Dental is legally advertising her position as a teacher in order to court voters. What she could now be in trouble for is trying to illegally use her potential elected position to get a new job. In this email to Superintendent Barbara Jenkins, she says she will, quote, have a relationship with decision makers throughout Florida as a state representative. She goes on to request a meeting to, quote, discuss options that could be advantageous to OCPS. Wade Vose, an elections law attorney, says the statements are the type the Ethics Commission takes seriously. That is exactly what the Florida Ethics Code is designed to prevent. Dendel says there was nothing wrong with her email. I was not asking for any kind of lobbying deal or sweetheart deal. The Republican Party of Florida requested Dental's emails through a public records request. The complaint filed by an Apopka resident also accuses Dental of sending emails related to her campaign from her OCPS email during school hours last spring. It is against Florida law to ask for campaign contributions in a government-owned building like a school. According to the complaint, Dental put a flyer for a campaign fundraiser in her principal's mailbox. Dental says she never violated campaign law. This is a politically motivated complaint by my opponent. Dental's opponent, Florida Representative Scott Plankin, said in a statement, quote, I was shocked to hear the allegations against my opponent, and I am sure the legal entities involved will thoroughly investigate these serious ethics and elections complaints. Dental says OCPS has not offered her a new job if she is elected. Reporting live in Maitland, Lori Brown, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Lori. District 30 is a hotly competitive district because it was redrawn during the redistricting process earlier this this year. It contains parts of three old districts. And